Hey there YouTube, welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are doing great. On today's video I have for you guys is a quick install. I ordered this cup holder for the DA and it's gonna go uh, in right now. It is a eBay part. It was about uh, 20 bucks. I'll leave a link in the description for you guys. It's a cup holder and it's gonna be like an OEM plus kind of look. Can't even see it until you pull it out. So uh, let's head over to the car and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. All right guys, we're here in the car. I'm gonna go ahead and crack it open. I haven't opened it yet, so I'm not even sure if they send me the right one. Shout out to oh, uh, eBay Racing on Instagram. He uh, sent me a picture of his, I believe he has it in his Here it is. Greg Parts, uh, LLC, 1990 through 03 or 93. I'm pretty sure that he meant to put 93. Integra cup holder, Ashtray cup holder. So here it is. So right off the bat, it feels really sturdy. It looks like a three. 3d printed part but it looks like it's really good quality so let's go ahead and take out our ashtray all right here's our ashtray okay so we have a uh, two phillips heads well actually let's take this back part off first let me just slide it out all right guys so it says you gotta mess with these springs. It has these little springs right here. So. There we go. One side, so you guys saw. I did kind of break it. On both sides actually now. There we go. I had to break it, guys. So, so letting y'all know, I broke the clip a little uh, tray. So, as you can see here. Oh shit! Went like this. All right guys, so now that we're here, this is a new part. So let's go ahead and take out the uh, two Phillips screws or the cross screws, whatever you want to call it. Let's hope this fits. Our faceplate. So you guys know I have the personal uh, smoker decal on there. Now you just put it on here like so. All right, so it's on there. So yeah. I got lucky all right guys I got lucky so I took this screwdriver thing off the bit and then I somehow fit in these little grooves so I got pretty lucky there like that so this is on let's try it out now drink's gonna fit like so it's only one way 
way to find out, right? All right, guys, so honestly, I'm not thirsty or anything like that right now. But uh, brought a can so we can test it out. You're a little thirsty, Chris? Sure, just put your coke right there, man. All right, let's hit the road now. Damn, this is awesome. That's beautiful, guys. Honestly, I'm really satisfied with it. Shout out to Greg Parts once again. This is not a sponsored video, but your product is amazing. Your product is awesome. And it's fairly affordable. As you guys can see, I have my can of Coke there. I could put my Monster Energy drink, anything like that. So thank you guys for watching. Also, I'm gonna give you guys an update. As you guys can see, I have a battery kill switch now. I winded up adding that two days after I did the relocation. Just because I wanted to have a just a, a battery kill switch just in case of an emergency or something like that. We popped the hood also. I added a earth to ground terminal. I think that's what it's called. I shout out to all right guys, huge shout out to Honda Jack. The day I installed this, he commented that I did a great job, but I bit I did miss this negative earth ground terminal so it goes from the tranny where i did take off the negative off from originally directly to the chassis and i did sand right there and i made this little uh connection i i made this with the rest of the cable that i had left over also i rerouted the positive terminal uh positive cable you guys remember I had I had a uh, I had a uh, send it through this hole right here. Let me grab a flashlight real quick. So when I did the battery relocation, I sent it into this hole, but I wasn't really happy with it because it was just way too exposed and so on and so forth. So what I did when I installed the kill switch. I noticed that there's a grommet down here. All the way down there. Well, let me show, let me show you. Where is it? I can't even see it right now. Where the hell is it? Oh, there it is. So it's right there. So there was a plug right there and I made a hole, cut it through and send it through that one. And now it sits on, on top of the, uh, frame I think it's called the metal piece that's right there and it goes straight in to the kill switch and then from the kill switch it goes back to the battery box that pretty much sums up today's video guys it's more of an update slash cup holder install I really recommend it guys I'm happy with it it looks OEM and it's only 23 bucks so shout out to greg parts this is not a sponsored video but his product is is amazing he makes them for crx's too and other cars also but the da has no cup holder so it's a great add-on for very little money hope you guys like the update also, keep in mind if you if you're doing the battery install, a uh, relocation install, make sure you guys add the earth ground terminal. It is really necessary and it made a difference. Like you could, you could I could tell because uh, the day I, I was driving to work after I did the battery install and relocation without that ground, I had a freaking check engine light. I don't know why. But I, I got to work, made it, made it to work, made it home, made that, made that uh terminal, and then never turned on again the the check engine light. So I'm pretty sure that's why it was I wasn't getting enough ground. Um, uh, also, 
the kill switch it's optional you don't need to make that you don't need to run it but i ran it because i like the way it looks honestly let me show you guys again i just really like the way the red looks the little red switch looks like a race car like race car style uh even though this isn't a race car but it looks pretty good on there it was a uh, five bucks at harbor freight for the whole switch so i'll leave a link for the cup holder in the bio I mean in the bio, in the description below. So go ahead, check it out. And that's it, guys. Once again, guys, please go ahead, drop a like. If you haven't, uh, subscribe. And then uh, also comment down below which uh, what kind of videos you guys want to see. That way I could uh, keep that in consideration and make some videos based off what you guys want. Once again, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.